So we'll be talking about the sentence window retriever and then we are, what we are going to do is that we are going to compare with semantic ranking. So let's jump in and see what is the sentence window retriever. This is a simple thing. What we do is that we embed only one sentence but put a window around that sentence. Here that window is configurable and and this in this case we have put a window of 5. So the LLM sees the whole block. So let's see in action and see this uh, how it is done in quadrant and what we have done is that we have inserted uh, using this sentence window retrieval and here you see these one point in in uh, in quadrant and what it is doing is this one it is it is having the original text which is this which is this and then what we are doing is that we are putting a window around it and it is five sentences around the single sentence so this is what it is there now how we do this is we'll see it in action here and let's go to this notebook out here of how we have done so this is the usual imports we are using the hugging face embedding we are instantiating the quadrant client we are getting the vector store and we've got the collection name here and this is the most important part of the thing that is we are creating we are creating the sentence window parser and in this sentence window parser the window size is 5 the metadata key is window and the original text is original text so if you go down here here the window is this is a metadata key for window and the original text is here which is the original text and the window size is 5 around the single window which is this part which is this part out here this is a window of 5 so that's how it is done so let's jump into the code again here we are using a sentence splitter and then what we are doing is that we are instantiating the LLM which is the Azure OpenAI and uh, then we are using the embed model as the sentence transformer and all mpnet base v2 and this is the settings we are doing the settings as the LLM the embed model and the text splitter we use the vector store index we read the file and here what we are doing is that we are utilizing this file the road safety file which we'll show you uh, here uh, this is the file that we are having the road safety file okay um, it is here it is around uh, you can see this is around 62 pages and we are also uh, we'll also put this highways file here so let's see the road safety file is being read by the simple directory reader we load the data we get the nodes from the documents and then we compute the uh, nodes here we get the node embedding we add the vector uh, the nodes in the vector store and then uh, so that's it once it is all done we can see just to verify it we again would um, get the index from the vector store we are using these sentence uh, metadata replacement post processor we are getting it and then we can ask questions and then we can ask questions and get the query from here so the most important part to note is this part which is which is how we are inserting the data here we are using the embedding as well as we are using the sentence window parser which is which is uh, defining the window size which is configurable we have made it 5 and we are inserting the original text also um, with the window around it so that's that's the most important thing down here now once this is done what we will do is that uh, we will we will show you in the notebook how we are reading it so uh, so here is usual imports we are getting the hugging face embedding we are getting the quadrant client we're getting the quadrant vector store and again we are getting the sentence window parser here the node parser we are using the sentence splitter the llm is the azure open ai 
uh, and this is the embedding model and then the LLM embed model and the text splitter and we are getting the vector store index from the vector store and then uh, we are doing the query engine as the sentence ending sentence index as a query engine and we are getting k is equal to 5 the metadata replacement post processor the target metadata key is a window and then we are asking the questions and then we are getting the response so this is the whole thing that is going on but we will see it in action and we have got the set of questions also here so here we have uploaded these two files which we have shown and we have the questions down here so let's ask a question and we have made a streamlit app with this all the code will be in github so i have already pushed i have already put up the streamlit file and let's ask the questions so this question is uh, is fine it is giving a good answer uh, let's ask another question So here you see that uh, it is giving it is not provided with the sentence window retriever. We will see of how it differs when we do it with the semantic ranking. So we see here. This question it is giving good answers here. So most of the questions it will give good answers. Let's try out one question here. So this is like who is Dinesh Mohan and we'll try to find out the answer. Actually, there is some text around Dinesh Mohan in one of these uh, documents, but we are not getting this in action here. Um, this is not giving a satisfactory action with, uh, with the sentence window retriever. What we'll do here is that we will do semantic ranking. We have already discussed about semantic ranking in detail in a separate video which we'll mention in the comments, but let's apply semantic ranking here. So what are the steps that is there? So let's go here. We'll first import these libraries. Then we have the query, which is who is Dinesh Mohan. And then we do a retrieve context with the semantic ranker. And we do a retrieve context without the semantic ranker. And then what we are doing is that we are generating the answer from the context for the one, one without the semantic ranker and we see the response. And for the query which is Dinesh Mohan, we see that it is mentioning like Dinesh Mohan is not explicitly described in the provided context. However, he is mentioned in the context of road safety research institutional linkages. This suggests that Dinesh Mohan might be a professional or academic involved in road safety research and institutional linkages. So that's the answer without semantic ranking. But with semantic ranking, uh, what we will do is that, which is generate, we will get the response here. And here it is mentioned that Dinesh Mohan is a member of the committee mentioned in the context. He is affiliated with IIT Delhi, which suggests he is an academic researcher in the field of road safety transportation or a related area. This seems to be a better answer. Similarly, if we just change the query and change it to this one, which is, let's execute this, tell the number of depths through tuberculosis and through road. So let's see this. Similarly, once we get with the semantic ranker and without the semantic ranker. The first response that we will get is uh, without the semantic ranker. Let's see this in action. So the, in the given context, the number of deaths through tuberculosis is 37,639 in 2004. 
and the number of deaths to road in accidents is 84,674 in 2002. So here you see that once it is mentioning about 2004 and then it is mentioning the road accidents in 2002. Let's see when we are using semantic ranking, what is the answer? Now here you see that there is a parity here. The tuberculosis deaths is for 2004 and also the road accidents are mentioned about 2004. So with the semantic ranking, we are getting a better result. So what is happening? What is the difference between the semantic ranking and without the semantic ranking? So if I go to this function out here, you see what is happening is that it is practically the same as, as, the, as without the semantic ranking. We are querying the quadrant uh, with a query. We are getting the search results. And here the difference is that the results limit is 25. We are getting more results here. We are getting more results. And then what we are doing is that for the query, for the query and the results, we are computing the cross codes. We are computing the cross codes and then we are sorting the cross codes and then we are selecting the top five. The difference between the one with the semantic ranking and without the semantic ranking is that without the semantic ranking, what is happening is that we are just using quadrant for the semantic similarity and we are just returning the five results. So the difference is that there is a use of a cross encoder in the semantic ranking, which we have explained in detail in one of the videos, which I will mention in the comments. But in the code also you see that there is a distinct difference of the usage of the cross encoder here in the semantic uh, ranker. Now we have get, got some very good results with the semantic ranking. Now let's see if we had used the sentence window uh, replacement technique. Now when we ask it with the sentence window and we say who is Dinesh Mohan, we say that we are not getting the answer with the sentence uh, window retriever. But with the semantic uh, ranker, we are getting a very good result. So, so in this experiment that we have done with two documents, we are able to see that the semantic ranker performs better than the NAVRAG, which does not use the semantic ranker, as well as a sentence window retriever. This doesn't mean that it will be, it is the best method, but we have to try out these. And one of the good things is that this technique is quite effective and um, we should plan to use it as the first step of getting better rag. Thank you. Bye.